So as we power the motor, it, it rotates the timber in the motor, in the pump, to, uh, to pump water. So as it, it is moving in a circular motion, it forces the water out. So with this idea, we are able to come up with uh, the mountain fountain. And it works? It works. I want to see. Here is the jurisdiction of Nana Kubeyajo Bakatai II. She is the Regional Education Director for OT Region. I am here. You see, Dr. Yao Edutrum, you are so much passionate about STEM education, just like Dr. Eric Nkansa. The first time I hear you mention the name of this school, Rara Senior High, I say, hey, Sir, you have no idea what these people are doing. I have made it here. Of course, I am your number one undisputed high school's ambassador. Here at Rara Senior High. Come and see. In fact, this is the dawning of a new era for Ghana education service. My regards to uh, Madam Cassandra Chuman Poffo. She's the national PRO and my mama, Madam Felicia Jebia Okain, Western Region Education Director. Can't appreciate you enough. Here at Rara Senior High School, this is what they've done over here. When you talk of STEM education, I do not know what is happening in other schools. But here, it's a perfect synergy. This thing was put together by the visual art team and the science team, robotics team. Perfect union. They have completely married themselves. Really deep, oh. And then this is what they've put over here. What you're looking at is actually a solar-powered fountain. Solar power. Brother, they want to know your name. Oh, my name is Asamoa Kyle. Asamoa Kyle. Kyle. Yeah. Is that to do you know? Every day you grow a hard day. You are a visual art student. Yes, please. How did you put these things together? Oh. Uh, you just use stones and cement to put them together with the help of our science students. Stones? Yes, please. Where did you get the stones from? Oh, we got them from the mountain. Where? Oh, the mountain. The mountain over there? Yes, please. You can go there? Yes, please. Eh? Hey. Yeah. And then you bought this? Uh, no, we made them. We made them. You made all of them? Yeah. yeah. How, how, was the, how was the making process? Oh, the making process we started by this, which we laid a foundation using the big stones. Mm. So after laying the big stones, we cemented it to hold, the, uh, to hold them, all the big stones together. Mm. Then we allowed it to dry. Then we did this concrete, the big one over here, the slump. We mm. call it the slump. So when we did all, we decorated with these pedals, the small, small ones. Mm. So they after, are called pedals? Yes, please. Hey, you, we have terms, so. Pedals. The stones are called pedals. Yeah. <laughs> so after decorating it with it, we made uh, flower verses mm. on top of it. Then we made pots on these steps that you see here. Mm. So the mount, uh, the mount, the fountain is over there at the top, mm. which it flows from the top and passes this uh, passageway to the second one. Ah, so this thing it works, sir. It works. It's not toy. No, it's not a toy. It works. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And then after you hire somebody to paint inside. I know we did it ourselves. <laughs> we did it ourselves. We have pencils. We, we did it to the hey. Yes. How about the bambooing and the piping? Okay. After the bambooing and the piping, that's for the pipes we bought them. Mm. But the bamboo is in our natural environment. So we just get them, put them together to form something beautiful. <laughs> and then when I look at this part. There is this wiring stuff over there. Who, 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 how about that one? Oh, that one, uh, we also got them. But some of the gadgets over there were made by the science students themselves. The science students? Yes, themselves. These people? Yes, these people. Come. <laughs> Brother. Yes, what have you done? Oh, uh, my name is Kube Moses. We harvest sun radiant energy. You do what? We harvest. You, you harvest sun. Sun radiant energy with the help of the solar panel. In the solar panel, there are silicon cells. This silicon cell converts the uh, sun radiant energy into electrical energy, which we store in the battery here. This is a uh, uh, amp. Mm. So we store the uh, energy here, which can be used in 
or in the in the night or on crowding days where we don't have access to sunlight. So we harvest it here to pump to uh, supply power to the pump. Now this is a centrifugal water pump. This is what we normally learn in the class, centrifugal force. It was based on this force that to build this pump. It is having inlet Wait, and outlet. Wait, century, century, I have heard it. Have you heard centrifugal before? Water back pump. In, back in SHSO, I, it never made any sense to me. Yeah. So it works. Yeah, this is the uh, centrifugal water pump. Based on this principle, we are able to build a, a, a centrifugal water pump. So it is having turbines in it with a 12 volt motor. So the motor is connected to the turbine. So as the motor is powered, it is rotating. As it rotates, it pumps water through the outlet. So the inlet will be deep into the water and the outlet to pump water out. So it's based on this principle that we're able to what, build this to power our fountain. Actually, this is a mountain fountain. So the centrifugal, centrifugal, no, this, that's what you are holding. Yeah, this is a centrifugal. I think that they make it in class yes, and that's what you are holding. It's a centrifugal water pump. You, you bought this no, thing from where? The, the, actually, blue? we use a 3D printer to print it. 3D printer to print where? this. Where? Where? At Nkunya. We have some at Nkunya. So we use that one to print it. Where is Nkunya? Nkunya uh, is where going to uh, a voter side, Accra. So it's in OT region? It's OT region. You printed this thing here in OT region? OT region, yes. You we people, you have 3D printers here? Yes. This is capital. So we use a 3D printer to print this. You did not buy it? Oh, we didn't one. buy it. The blue one? Oh. oh, we printed it with a 3D printer. So we were able to print it and then we use it to, uh, to uh, power. We, we connect the motor to the, uh, the, the, the this thing. The pipes, and then we are able to power the addition. So as we power the motor, it, is, it rotates the timber in the motor in the pump to uh, to pump water. So as it, it is moving in a circular motion, it forces the water out. So with this idea, we are able to come up with uh, the mountain fountain, and it works. It works. I want to see. So uh, please power it and let's see. <laughs> as you can see, so uh, we have power it and then our so that, uh, we have power it. So it is moving in a circular motion. So it will go to the down, then come in again. Ah, so when it gets full, then it starts descending down. Yes. So when it gets full here, it will pass to the, the, the pathway to this uh, port, then to this port, then to the, uh, to the next port. And it will get back again. See, can you do replicate this thing at the headquarters of Ghana Education Service? Oh, we can build this. We can build of different design. Whatever design you want, we can be able to build it with the help of what our uh, pump and the solar panel to be to build it for you. We want, we want one of these at the headquarters of Ghana Education Service. It is service. not a problem at all. It's not a problem. Yes, yeah, not a problem. And somewhere inside. Flagstaff House. Nanado Danko Kufado. The President of the Republic. We want these guys can actually replicate this turn. So, hey, so you people were there and then we went to build the Dubai at Circle. <laughs> so Could you we, have done that? We are we are in for change. <laughs> we can actually build this in OT region. It means that we can build it everywhere across the, the nation. Who who where did you learn this thing from? We, we learn it from uh, 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 the classrooms and then we apply it in a real life solution to be able to come up out with this project. Who, who is your instructor? We have a coach. What's the name? Uh, Teacher Bwaji. Wh where is he? Teacher Bwaji. Yes, sir. Please, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> who be you? <laughs> um, um, actually, I was an engineer at Super Technology, one of the biggest IT companies. Um, as a network engineer, I became a regional engineer, and now, because of STEM education, I quit my job. I left my car, my house, my everything, the best opportunity, and I'm here with the kids, helping them. So you teach in this school? Yeah. You're a teacher in this school? Um, I'm a facilitator, helping the schools, and not only here, but the other schools, but on most occasions, Rara Senior High. You are, you yeah. are not really a teacher? Yeah. But you facilitate the STEM program yeah. here yeah. In, in this school. In this school and in the entire OT region. In the entire OT region. Yes. How long did it take you to teach, impart this knowledge into the, 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 the student here? Oh, for adding knowledge, it may not take like um, 
maybe like six months, more than six months. Or because most occasions, they are already studying these things in school already. Mm. Yeah, because we discovered centrifugal force, as you said. We, we already have it in school. They study in school. They draw the diagram. They put their lines there. They begin to calculate. But they don't know it, how to interpret into real life solutions. So my assignment is to help the student to interpret all these technologies, mm. all these things that we are studying, the science that we are studying into real life solutions. So the second system they have been studying, uh, what is the use of it? So I will just help you because they already know it already. They have it on the resistor, the transistor, they have it them already. But then I, my job is to help them to interpret and that's the STEM education. Amazing. Now you've been here for like, for like how many years? Uh, for I'm um, now one and a half years now. One and a, one and a half. Yeah, yeah, one and a half years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one and a half years now in the T region. And, and the Rara, they, they did so well in the national seminary and other things. I want yeah. to know if there is something that you ever desire yeah. in the education sector. Yeah. What 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 is it? Yeah. Um. Uh, the, the, I want the STEM education, they should really emphasize on it so much because um, with my knowledge in STEM and in my experiences, you see that the children who they think maybe may not be good academically can be able to interpret. So we don't just rule people out just by people who can speak. Sometimes we go to constitution and people speak so well and say, oh, these are the good students. We go to science the people who can calculate very well and say, oh, these are smart because they are people that can remember things and there are people who are innovative. They should get the differences. So when they put the STEM education, it put people together to develop a, a concept projects and then to implement. And rather, as we speak now, we have about three projects working as we speak. And then this is the fourth one, fifth one is also there. There's a lot, it's a lot that we can't even count. Yeah. Bro. yeah. And they are doing themselves. Mine is to just introduce you and then they will come up with their own innovation. Mine is just a guide. I can't do this, but most of the case, okay, what do you do? We throw it to them, and then you see the mind-blowing thing that they are doing. You saw that the other project were there, and then they told me that they've done a sensor, they've done something. So that means that's the work of the STEM education. Awesome. Yeah. So you see, if 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 you want ever want your world to, you thinking of your world going to space, going to the moon. I am, I am, I will not, I will not argue if they say Rara is a school to start from. Because looking at what they've done over here, it's, it's mind-boggling, like it's mind-blowing. Bro, yeah. do you have something to tell the education minister? We don't, education minister have never visited our national high school before. <laughs> so we want to use this opportunity to invite him to come and see the marvelous things that our students are doing. So that uh, he will come and then uh, invest in us. Right now we need investors, people who can invest so that we'll be able to carry this project at large uh, uh, scale. Amazing. So, so if we need the government to come to our aid to be able to build upon this project at various places in the country and even across the nation. Awesome. Ebuzafo, what's in there? Asempawa way or etia? 